on your handheld or your computer software, open up a new notes application. What we are going to do is we're going to create a file that will find the equation of the tangent to any function at any x value. And we're going to start with a parabola at the point where x equals 1. On your notes page, let's insert a math box. So to do that, it's menu, come down to insert. We're going to insert a math box, option 1. And we're going to define our function, f, evaluated at x. And to define your function, you can press the control and then define key, which is above the math template. Or you could type in colon equals. And we're going to define our function to be x squared, our parabola. Press enter, and that function is now stored. We now need to enter our x value. And I'm going to call that xval. And that's going to be defined to be equal to, and I'm going to start with an x value of 1. Press enter, and that stores my x value. I now need to calculate my corresponding y coordinate. So I'm going to call that yval. And that's going to be defined to be equal to. It's going to be my original function evaluated at my x val, which will be under my variable key. So if I press var, I can come down and choose my x val. Press enter. And I now have my corresponding y coordinate to an x value of 1. I now need to define the gradient of the tangent. So I'm going to call it GT to stand for gradient of my tangent. And that's going to be defined to be equal to. Instead of typing in colon equals, once again, we could press the control. And then just above the math template is your defined to be equal to key. And this is going to be the derivative. So to access the derivative, we can press the math template and choose the derivative template. Our variable is x, and we're differentiating with respect to x. We are differentiating our original function, f of x, and we are going to evaluate that. So we need to put in our conditional command, which is control and equals. We're going to choose our conditional command, which is that vertical straight line. We're going to evaluate the derivative given that we have an x value that is equal to our original x value. Let's access that from the var key, x val. Press enter, and it's calculated the gradient of the tangent at the point where x is 1. We now need to actually calculate the equation of the tangent. So to do that, let's just enter some text first of all. To enter text, let's type in equation of tangent is. We'll press enter. We'll insert another math box now. So menu, come down to insert math box. We're now going to solve an equation. And to access the solve feature, let's go to menu, come down to calculations, option six. And this is an algebra skill. So let's look at option three, algebra. And we're going to choose option one, which is solve. You could have typed in the word solve also. We're going to solve y minus your y val, so we can access that from the var key, equals the gradient of the tangent, so var key again, gt, multiplied by bracket x minus my x val, once again under the var key, and we're going to solve that for y. So what this is doing is this is just the point gradient formula and it's going to solve the point gradient formula for y. We'll press enter and the result is the equation of the tangent. Now the beauty of this interactive document is that you can now come back up and you can change any of your input values. So instead of a parabola, let's say I had a cubic, I just have to change that to x cubed, press enter, 
and everything will automatically update. If I wanted to change my X value, I can just come up and change that to say negative two. And again, everything will update. If I wanted an exponential function, I could come up here and just come down and choose my exponential X, press enter, and it will update the equation of the tangent.